Valentine's Day is fast approaching and Cupid's arrow may hit you square in the wallet. Like everyone, businesses that thrive on love's holiday have been hit hard by supply chain and product issues. Photojournalist Carl Bachtel shows us how two local shops are handling the costs of love. And I need chocolates. The intoxicating smell of chocolate hangs in the air at Mitchell's Fine Chocolates in Cleveland Heights. But according to co-owner Emily Bean, the lead up to their 84th Valentine's Day is bringing something else. We start getting a, a little tense. We try to prepare as much as we can, but we feel it's the most unpredictable holiday because so many people forget. It's not on people's radar. But they'll be ready, even with higher costs of everything from pecans to packaging. I it's just okay. can't pass that charge along to, to my customers. So it has been hard to, to sort of pivot to keep the costs about the same. We put the flowers in them. Meanwhile, at Pollux Florist in Parma, the cooler is bursting with vases and blooms. In this family-owned floral shop, love conquers all, almost. It's an issue of supply and demand, and our suppliers do raise the price on us because there's such a high demand on roses for Valentine's Day. But Pollux has as many gift options as they have flowers, including the state flower of Ohio, the carnation. They're beautiful and about half the cost of roses. So even if you just buy a single flower for a few dollars and your loved one sees that every day, they really see that you care and it just makes you smile. A gift given from the heart is always worth it, regardless of its cost. Support local, everyone. From Cleveland Heights and Parma, Carl Bactel, 3 News.